Hey, children. Hey, Sister Georgia again. Oh, my goodness. Did you miss me? Sister Georgie from Mississippi. By way of Jamaica, West Indies. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. I'm just tired of working with this hat weather. I'm going to try, try to put in different shapes. Yes, sir. You know, like I said before, uh, I'm reading books that connect to uh, this is Women's Month. So I'm going to read a series of books. So you're going to hear me over YouTube, you know, uh, reading different Bible stories. So I want to read another book. The, the first book I read was a so, uh, Latino uh, uh, um, Justice, Sonia Sotomayor. Yeah, she was the Latina, uh, first Latina Justice. Okay, so now I'm going to read another book called May Jameson. Okay, I don't know if you know about her. She was an African-American uh, NASA astronaut. Yes, sir. Okay, and this book is written by uh, 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 Nancy Paulette. All right, remember now, this is Women's Month, so I'm reading a series of books. All right, so let's read this story. It's a short read, okay? So maybe I need to read another one right behind this one. Would you like to be a star or travel to the stars? Okay, look at that. You ever dream of that, y'all? You ever dream of that? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. May Jameson did both. The Space Shuttle Endeavor blasted off on September 12, 1992. I know it's before some of y'all were born. And this is a year after my little girl was born. Yes, yes, yes. Jameson was one of the astronauts on board. Yes. So an astronaut is somebody that goes into space, into one of them spaceships. Yes, sir. She was the first African-American woman to travel in space. She was a star. Oh, my God. I read about so much first people. You got the first Latina being being up in the uh, Supreme Court justice. And now you got the first African woman, African, African, oh, Jesus, African. Can American woman to travel in space. She was a star. Oh my goodness. Ain't that something? Wow. Jameson was born in 1956 in Decatur, Alabama, but grew up in Chicago, Illinois. Are you know? Oh, when you talk about Chicago, Illinois, you know, our 44 president, he came from Chicago, Illinois. That's Barack Obama. Yes, he came from there. Wow. Wow. Jameson liked learning new things when she was a child. She liked to read. She liked to dance and find out how things work. Yeah, you see, she looked at the Chicago skyscrapers. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She was very curious. All right. She saw the first astronauts walk on the moon. When she was 13 years old. Wow. Wow. This made her want to be an astronaut too. Ain't that something? Wow. Look at that. This girl is so curious. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. Jameson wanted to make her dream come true. She studied hard and finished high school when she was only 16. Wow. Ain't she smart? Oh my goodness. She is really, really smart. She remind me of Dr. Martin Luther King. He was a scholar too. Oh my goodness. He was a smart one too. Wow. She finished high school when she was only 16 years old. When you 60 years old, you are a, let's see now, you are a, it's a freshman and then it's a sophomore, then it's a junior. So she was a junior when she graduated from high school. Wow. She went to college to learn to be a chemical engineer. Oh my goodness. Look at that. After college, she went to middle school, school and became a doctor. Oh, she was a joking now. She was a joking with her life. Wow. Oh my goodness. She was dreaming big, y'all. Y'all got to dream big. Okay. James said, join the Peace Corps when she was 26 years old. Oh my goodness. The Peace Corps sent her to Africa. She worked hard to bring medical care to poor people. So you see, she was doing a lot of human 
human humanitarian uh, 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 things to help poor people. Because you know what? God loves when we help the poor people. Yes, sir. Yes, he does. Oh, my goodness. So she was a very nice, nice young lady. See how she helping little kids? Okay? And you could make a difference just like her. Yes, you can. You ain't too small to make a difference in your little community now. Come on. Two years later, she returned to the United States. Remember, she was in Africa helping the poor children. Okay? It was time to make her dreams come true. Yes, sir. Okay. Then... Jefferson wanted to join the astronaut program. 2,000 other people wanted to join the astronaut program, too. But only 15 people would be chosen by NASA. Yes, sir. NASA. Yes, I got a relative of mine that worked for NASA, working for a long time. Yes. And I believe he puts one of them spaceships up there. He put the, the, the program in for that spaceship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Would Jameson be one of them? Let's see. Yes, NASA told Jameson she would train to be an astronaut. Oh, my God. That is the first African-American woman to be up in space. Isn't God good? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Jameson worked hard for four years. She learned to fly a jet. Look at that. Ain't this girl smart? Wow. She's something else. Oh, my goodness. She learned to use a parachute. Look at that parachute, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Ain't that something? She learned how to stay alive in wild places. But guess that? She was in Africa, so she had to learn some things over there, too. So I'm sure that helped her as well. Because, you know, in Africa, we got a lot of animals roaming all over the place there, too. They have little areas that they roam everywhere. So she had to learn a lot of things. So I'm sure she learned some of that there, too. All right, now, in 1992, Jameson traveled in space for eight days. Oh, my goodness. Look at her. She right there. Where's she at? Let me see. There she up there in the picture. She right there, y'all. She right there up in the picture, okay, with them other astronauts. Oh, my goodness. She made it up there, all right? There were other, other women, too, but she was the first African-American woman. Oh, not wonderful. Jameson did experiments in space. Look at her. Wow. Yeah, she wanted to find a way to keep astronauts from getting sick in space. Look at her. Remember, she did chemical engineering. She wanted to find a way to keep their bones strong. What a smart young lady. Oh, my goodness. Yes, sir. The shuttle went around Earth 127 times. Oh, my goodness. Going around Earth. 127 times by the time they got to be about the third time around, I think I'd be falling out. I'd be getting all dizzy. I was like, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness. I want to get off this 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 spacecraft. Oh my goodness. Y'all need to open up the door so I come out of this spacecraft. Come on now. What they trying to do? 127 times. That's a lot of time. Maybe people want to get dizzy. But you know you can open the door. Can you open the door? We be lost in space. Oh my goodness! And I put everybody in life in danger. So guess what? Sister Georgia ain't gonna try to take no trip up to no space. Oh no! Yes, sir. I'm not doing that. Oh no! So she good. She good. She went around Earth 127 times. Wow! When Jameson looked at Earth from space, what do you think she saw? Mm-hmm. She saw Chicago, the place where her dream began. Whoa, look at that. She could see her little state, the little her little state from up in the in, up in the airways. Oh my goodness, that was really something. So Nash Jameson left NASA to start her own company in 1993. Wow. Where was I in 1993? Oh my goodness. I believe I started going back to school to better myself. Yes. She wanted to teach people in poor countries how medicine and technology could make their lives better. Ain't she something? What a beautiful young lady. Mae Jameson showed everyone that dreams can come true if people work to be the best that they can be. Wow. Ain't that something? Oh, my goodness. Word you know. May Jameson. This book is a, a really a book that really gives you understanding of the words 
You got May Davison. She is the astronaut. Talks about astronaut people that go up into space. Then the Endeavor, that's the name of the spaceship. Yes, sir. And the jet, she was learning how to hang out in the jet and how to take care of it and how to, how to most likely fly it. Okay, she went to medical school. And remember, she studied chemical engineering. Come on, now, she's a smart girl. And she had learned how to get out in a parachute, how to come down, let that parachute open up. Because, honey, if you don't know how to open that parachute, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, you know what's going to happen. Okay, you ain't going to be lasting. When you land on Earth, you not it's not going to be nice. So you got to learn. She had to learn how to uh, 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 put on a parachute, know how to open it up. All right, because that would definitely save her life. Sure, sure. Then we got NASA. Yeah, NASA out there in the state of Maryland. Yes, sir. Yes. Greenbelt, Maryland. I told you I got a relative that work that work out there. Yes, yes, yes. And she did the Peace Corps. It's some kind of a, a place where, you know, a little uh, uh, some kind of organization that helped children in different countries. So the end, the end of the book talking about May Jameson by Nancy Paulette. OK, again, this is the second book I'm reading for Women's Month. So I want you to be encouraged like this young lady as well. She didn't let anything stop her from being all that she can be. So it don't matter what you're dealing with, what you got to come up against in life. You need to follow your dreams. OK, she did. May Jameson did. And she is famous today. So I want to thank you all for listening to uh, Sister Job G from Mississippi by way of Jamaica West Indies. Y'all enjoy your evening and enjoy your night. And of course, enjoy your morning wherever you are in this beautiful universe. And know that I love you and Jesus love you too. And don't forget, like I said before, go visit the library. The library got a lot of great books for you to uh, 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 connect to and travel in the book. Okay. You can go on a great adventure, travel in the book. All right. So thank you again. And don't forget to go to my YouTube channel and, 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 and go to Wamo Ministries, W-A-M-O-E Ministries at gmail.com and hit that subscribe button. Because you will make such a job you very happy. Thank you so much. And see you next time with another story. Reading, reading stories, reading Bible stories, and reading other stories to children. To let children understand that reading is fun. Love you. Bye.